Hey y'all, welcome back to Channel Claire. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, yeah, what a fucking day. Like, wow. That's all they had. Johnny has testified, been crossed, and redirected, okay? And I seriously thought at some point that Amber's team would actually have something. Like, she said herself she had volumes of evidence there was an inkling in my mind like maybe they'll have like some groundbreaking this that and other since they wanted to end it the way they did on thursday but they had nothing here we are talking about a fucking case that essentially has to do with domestic violence and amber saying writing up in a fucking op-ed that she was so abused and misused and johnny was like bitch no i'm taking you to court because you're fucking lying we get to court to talk about this domestic abuse, abuse and they don't ask him about it they don't ask him about it you had him after all these fucking years you guys finally had the time to have him up on the fucking stand and you don't ask him about the fact that he beat brutally beat and bruised amber heard y'all could have came with your volumes of evidence what about this picture on May 13, 15, uh, 2013, and this mark here, and shows this right here, and this, and this date, and da, da, da. no, none of that. They had none of that. They didn't have metadata. They couldn't even give people fucking dates. They couldn't give Johnny dates for the fucking TMZ video. And he talked about that, the fact that the TMZ video and what he was going on, he didn't know if it was about his mother or possibly about the $60 million being fucking taken because y'all ain't got no fucking metadata, ain't no dates on any of your shit. Like, you're unorganized. You're unorganized. Like, y'all don't have shit. And Amber's sitting up there like a fucking 18th century, 19th century fucking governess with the hair in the, in the... I was like, this bitch looks like she should be in a scary movie she does she looks like she should be in a scary movie she would be like that woman who's like all weird and spooky and shit and then at night like she turns into this fucking demon woman stalking the house like that's what she looks like to me but it did look like she had a little bit more makeup on i could be mistaken but it did look like there was more and i felt like she was more expressive today too so shit may be getting to her just a tad bit because she was like making faces when the audios were playing because we got some juicy fucking audio. We know what happened in Toronto. We know what happened in Toronto. <laughs> we finally found out what happened in Toronto and why it was so bad. But um, <clears throat> she did seem more expressive. And I'm like, it's getting to her. But Johnny, on the other hand, looked amazing today, you guys. He went home. He said, okay, y'all want to fuck with me? Thursday, he took Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, honey. And relaxed. Took his time. Had a good meal. Got a spa treatment. Got a facial. He looked good. With like, I think he had a, like tinted shades. And he had the slip back pony. And I'm just like, and this is how he rolled up this morning. This is how he rolled up. With the music playing. With the music playing, y'all. This is how he rolled up this morning. I fucking love it. Hey. Oh, that's Bob Marley War. Yes, that's Bob Marley fucking war. Look, you don't. If you look that up, but Johnny was on it and he had people out there. It's so crazy the difference from like when I went out there that one day, then to today. It's just like the just the crowd and the fans and stuff out there. It's just so good to see people supporting him and being there. I am planning to get up there before this is all said and done, but again. But, um, yeah, he just looked great. And I was like, he was, like, not going to let him break him down. This is a very, very strong guy. Man, you know, he is not going to, like, he's tired of the fucking bullshit. He's tired. And you could just tell with his responses and shit. He was way sassy today. He had quick comebacks. 
you can't keep up. You just cannot keep up. You need to get it together. But you're a fucking mess. And that's why we're in this situation. We got some juicy fucking... Y'all, okay. So a couple things, I guess, before we get into Toronto. Because I want to touch that. But um, we had also the house manager from Australia. House manager from Australia, Ben King, ain't see shit on her either. He rode home with her bitch ass. First class. After all of that, he sent her home first class and Ben knew to say that shit. Because that just shows the type of guy that Johnny is. He could have put her in coach so fucking quick. Put her back by the goddamn bathroom. Are you kidding me? Ben said that for a reason. But he was talking about how she had like these um, small thin uniform cuts on her. Like scratch marks. Like anybody could fucking do that. If I scratch myself hard enough like this, it's going to fucking make a mark. And I knew what he was getting at. Everybody knew what he was getting at. Everybody knew what he was getting at. Oh, my God. And then the finger was, like, wrapped up in some type of paper. So I guess, like, when they were questioning him, they were trying to get at the fact that maybe Johnny, like, took the finger and, like, wrapped it up because he had cut it off himself. But no. What I think has happened, Amber's probably sneaky ass, probably found that shit, probably wrapped it up real quick and set it somewhere. I think that's what happened. Honestly. Ugh. And then um, Mr. Bettany got into a debate with Amber at lunch. Johnny's good friend. See, this is the... You can't even fucking act right in front of a man and his friends. You can't take this bitch nowhere. She don't got house training. She don't got no home training. She gonna act fucking ignorant anywhere she fucking goes. Apparently, the story is that um, she would talk over him, she was rude as hell, and she even fucking got at it with his son, his 18-year-old son, Paul son. This is what she does. She just talks to people fucking nasty. Any, What type of man wants a woman where anywhere he has to go, he's having to remind her to have respect of his friends? It happened to the guy who does the audio, Kenan. She did it to him. She did it to her assistant. We even heard her say in audio she doesn't like to have people who need things from her or that she feels like she needs to do something for around her because she, that's just too much for her. She sees people like that. And you're going to do this to your good, your husband's good friend's son? So, and I'm supposed to believe that you are not capable of doing worse. You are a nasty person you're just the insides of her are nasty it says his 18 year old son boy entered the conversation because i guess like they were having some type of you know disagreement and he and the son wanted to add his input and amber demeaned this young man until he burst in tears so instead of okay you disagree with what the young man's saying fine Instead of taking and being an adult and trying to explain to him and try to teach him something, or maybe try to give him a different perspective, you berate and belittle this man just like you did to your husband to the point where he's crying? You're disgusting. You're disgusting. Like, she's disgusting. Literally. Like Lisa says. She says, so voluminous evidence that was promised to us from Amber Heard's side was text, sexed, cherry-picked audio, literally cherry-picked, and magazine articles. Like, it's tragic. It's, it's fucking tragic. Johnny said, Johnny sa he did say this. He said that Amber felt that Paul was a threat because they were good friends. Good friends. And he, she felt like Johnny was going to be taken away by Paul. Because Paul saw through her fucking shit. He fucking spotted her in an instant. They never had a good relationship like that. He he knew her gig. She He knew that she was like an opportunish, gold diggish fucking bitch. That's what he fucking knew. And then for her to sit up there and do that to his son. 
I wish he could have been a witness. Like, and Johnny also said, and this is really sad, and I saw Amber's little face trying not to fucking crack over there when he was like, why would I chop my finger off? It was like one of the only good things I had in my life that was real besides my kids. Like, bitch, you were horrible. You made this man literally sick. And he even said that when they asked him about the fact that they played the fucking vomiting, disgusting ass audio because you guys are literally in the depths desperation. Like you guys are literally in the gutter gutter asses like that's what you guys are you want to fucking provide audio and he's like why the fuck would anybody why would you play that fucking audio why would you play that audio i i have got to find that because i just need it in his words let me see if i can find it mm -mm 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 -mm. Can I find it? Oh, Lord. There's so much. There's literally so much. We heard audio of her literally, it sounded like slapping or throwing something. Like, we got you on tape, honey. We got you on tape. Well, I can't find the fucking audio. But you guys, if you watched it, you know what I mean. Because he's like, why the fuck would somebody do that? It's it's literal trash. It's so, 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 so um, trash. She repeated it. I can't. Mm -mm -mm. It was another one. And Johnny got to say this. He got to say this. I'm in my life. It was me. The only person that I have ever abused in my life is myself. In fact, you right. tried to... The only person he has ever abused so in his problem. life is him. His self. He ain't hit nobody. He is the nice... He sent you home first class after you chopped his fucking finger off. I... I Wow. And then when Johnny got down from the stand, you know, they're hugging each other, him and his team, supporting each other. We're not going to get that from Amber. She's probably going to fucking collapse. I still think she's going to get up there and just fucking pass the hell out, honestly. Because <laughs> this is going to be a hard act to follow, honey. Like, you not act his truth, his story. It's going to be really hard to come after Johnny just laid it all out for us. Every single fucking thing. Well, I can't find that. So let's go to Toronto. Because I'm like, bitch, you... Let me sign in. I'm unprepared, like Amber's team. My apologies. <laughs> I gotta rifle through and look at my receipts, get my receipts up on the spot because I'm unprepared. I can't. They're so fucking trash. Absolutely horrible. It's gonna let me in. All right, let me just stop this. Hold on. Okay, so I wanted to listen to this before Toronto. To your best recollection. This is for her basically trying to say Johnny didn't want her to do any movies. She didn't want me to do this, that, and that, that, He's like, it's not about that, but you just seemed way more interested in going to different events and being here and there and doing all this, going to the Met Gala, and da-da-da-da-da. This is what he has to say. He's reading the text. This, this looks like it's... At the time, to me, I, 
And in what the, the fuck is here, Amber says, doing? Her obsession with herself is far she more does. important. She's so fucking ambitious. She's so desperate for success and fame. She's so desperate for success and fame, which is literally why she did that. That desperation got her to this exact point right here. She thought being Johnny Depp's wife was not good enough. She wanted to take it to the next level and be like this world-renowned speaker and spokesperson of domestic violence. And honey, no. That's not something, like people don't want to go into doing that, you know? It happens out of someone trying to make good out of something horrible that took place to them. It's not something that you just make happen because you wanna fake a fucking story. And you are telling us how you feel about yourself, honestly. You feel like you have no talent, that this, this desperate act was the only way that you could get that fame and fortune that you wanted. You have no talent, and that's why you were so jealous of Johnny. That's why you were so fucking jealous of him. Fame, that's probably why I was acquired, mate. What did you mean that's by that? That's why he was acquired. They said, what do you mean, Johnny? Unfortunately, I meant exactly uh, yep, what I, I said. Mean, exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. I In said text, what I said. It had become clear that there were... Um, it had became clear. She seemed to take more care in and importance in... Um, Mm hmm More care and importance. Going on auditions, getting, going to the Met Ball, or going to mm -hmm. any, any sort of... Uh, Yet she was so pissed when he wanted to go to a party whatever, in Toronto. Be, um, but she was out at the Magic Mike rap party until like 5 a.m. in the fucking morning. What were you doing, Amber? You weren't answering texts, you weren't calling, you weren't updating. But you had such an issue with Johnny going to this party for his movie in uh, Toronto, which caused all this bullshit. It's probably because your sneaky ass was doing some bullshit you weren't supposed to be doing. And so now when Johnny wants to go on his fucking thing, you a little fucking worried. Sorry. Right. I, I believe he was responding to what he meant by what right. he wrote in his Right. Robin Byrne can't even let him answer. Exactly. All right, that's the same judge. Next question. And Johnny is looking at this man like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't know if you saw this part where he like kind of spoke to Romberg when he was only supposed to address his lawyer. This is it. Thank you, Mr. Rottenborn. He said, thank you, Mr. Rottenborn. Sir, so if you could just answer the question, Mr. Depp, please. <laughs> Direct your attention just to your attorney, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. He was so sassy today. Uh, Mr. Depp, last week, uh, Mr. Rottenborn showed you an audio recording where... You referenced your, yeah. your finger dip. Mr. Rottenboard showed you an audio recording. A snippet. Play the shit in context. And that just shows you that I hope that appeals to the juries. Like her team only wants to give these itsy bitsy parts of fucking audio, whereas Johnny and his team wants to give the broad context of everything that's happening. If you're only trying to give this much, that means you're trying to hide everything else around it. It's so obvious. Like, do they not think that these, that we're smart people? Like, they think that we're dumb. They think that this jury is dumb. Like, it's not. They're getting cut off in Australia. Do you recall that? Yes. Oh, you... Mr. Deb, last week, uh, Mr. Rottenborn showed you an audio recording where you referenced your, your finger getting cut off in Australia. Do you recall that? Hey, you guys. So, obviously, there was an interlude. I'm showered. I'm fed. I'm back and better than ever. But for sake of time, I am skipping to the Toronto portion just because I've heard everything, but this is something that I felt like was missing, the missing piece, because we kept hearing Toronto referenced so many fucking times. And it was always everything around what took place in Toronto, the aftermath, but not what actually took place. There was always just little hints at it. Like we found out, Okay, 
they were going to get like they were um setting up her her mom and johnny were something to have pizza and do a movie and shit and then johnny decided he wanted to go to a movie so we found that out and she was like ah, i just took my lipstick off i just took my hair down and i'm just thinking you just took your hair down like does she mean extensions and in my head because you know Oh, like, how hard is it for you to just rip that shit up in a bun and keep it fucking pushing? Like, if you want to put more lip gloss on and fucking go, like, you do the boho chic anyway. Like, what the actual fuck? If you want to go to the party, go to the party. If not, not. But secretly, I do think that Johnny probably didn't want her to go. And so he may have, like, set that up because they had already been in some shit, all right? And he was over it. He just wanted to get out away and just up from under her, I guess, probably. So that's what we know about Toronto so far. So now they played this audio in court and I'm like, it all makes sense. It all connects. His story matches up, you know, even with the finger. Him and Ben King's stories match up. The finger was found over by the bar. Like the stories match up. That's all I'm saying. So here we go. Do you understand why 10 minutes downstairs? Okay. Your Honor. I'm going to start a little bit before. A, a clip from Plaintiff's Exhibit, Court's a larger recording, which is reflected in Plaintiff's Exhibit. And so I would have to leave and go and um, vomit. Oh, the, yes. How could I forget? He said he would have to leave and go and vomit because she was putting his hands, her hands on him. And it, like, made him physically fucking ill. Probably in the disbelief that he's gotten in this situation and trying to come into the realization that he's, like, in this shit. Like, he is an abuse victim, and he said it so, like, they read out literally what the fuck this bitch said on audio, on tape, played shit. Everybody fucking hear it. They said it at the end. Tell them I, Johnny Depp, am a victim of domestic violence. They read that shit. They closed on that shit. And Johnny said, yes, I am. Coming to that realization is hard, especially hard for a man, just because we do see them differently as the strong ones, as the domineering ones, like this, that, and another. And I, I get that frustration. So it's just like, damn. Like, she had him ill, and she sat there and tried to say, oh, he was throwing up every night, this, that, and another, had him on fucking audio. He said, I don't even know why she would record that. That just shows how fucking low this woman is, is that you're going to enter evidence of a man vomiting. Vomiting. <sighs> when fights got into these surreal, absurd, surreal, horrible places. Absurd, horrible um, places. Absurd. But it's still confounds me as to why she would record that. Right. Why would she record I, that? I don't know why anyone would record that. Right. I don't know why anybody would record that unless you have malicious intent. What is the reason? What is the reason? Like Cardi B said, what is the reason? Like, I don't understand. And she's sitting here looking all fucking blank face. You should be really fucking ashamed. Your team is making you look dumb. Dumb. They are literally just throwing audio, throwing text messages, throwing random fucking shit, bringing up Marilyn Manson. Just nothing. Your own lawyer objected his fucking self. You have him that fucked up in the mind. I mean, it's consistent. Any man she gets around, she's going to fuck them up in the head. She fucked Johnny up in the head. Now she done fucked this lawyer up in the head. Because now he's sitting up here looking like a fool. His reputation, his law firm in jeopardy because he's representing this bitch. And he's objecting himself. That was hilarious. And you saw Ben King go like, he was like, <laughs> he was, he was 
so shocked. Oh my god. And then you see it cuts to Johnny and the cameramen are shady as fuck. It cuts to Johnny and them laughing. Him and Ben. So many Bens. Um, laughing. Your team is laughable. This is all fucking laughable. Laughable. Mr. Depp, the, the portion, the clip that Mr. Rottenborn played was from Defendant's Exhibit 839. And just for the record, this is a portion of a larger recording which is reflected in plaintiff's exhibit mm -hmm. 342 so with the court's permission i'd like to play a clip from plaintiff's exhibit 342. oh play that um, exhibit the, 342. Or the portion i'd like to play is that 19 minutes 40 seconds 19 minutes 40 to seconds 25 minutes 25 seconds. to 25 minutes that's a little bit that's a good chunk context i don't believe so your honor no context 342 which is the entire house they're trying to get their shit together. We can, we can confirm afterwards. About so who's if, speaking. If, you're honor, da, 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 if it's bullshit, more comfortable, bullshit. we can put in it in as 342A. Okay. And what was the, let's put 342A. What's the, I'm sorry, what's the part that you're going to? Play? It's uh, 19 minutes, 40 seconds. What is with the hair? 25 minutes, 25 seconds. All right. And her just hair looks with this swoop down. It's, down. it's, it's very A severe. Evidence. Thank you. It's very severe for me. Like this was not it. This wasn't it. It wasn't a good look for you today. Okay, so Johnny's saying, I don't care. I don't care. He's over it. I don't give a fuck. Even when he is fed up, he's still not screaming and shouting at her. He is like, I do not care. I do not care. I don't care. He's fucking over it. Absolute part of the lies. I think he's yelled on that one. Is that what matters? Is that what matters? Is she drunk? Every fucking time she's in the audio, she sounds like she's on some shit. Is this what matters to you, your party? Is this what matters to you, your party? Seriously. Miss Magic Mike out at 5 a.m. Not coming home, not answering texts. And you're concerned about him going to a party. You want to do your work. You want to do this, that, and the other. And you want to say he's stopping you from fucking working. This is part of the gig. You got to promote. You got to get your face out there. You know this. So you're blocking his back. He got to do what he got to do. It's a party, but it's still work. You know this. Try to act brand new, cause she wants to control him. And that matters. Don't absolute fucking lies. I think we've never. I'm not even ever... fuck with you about it. So anyway, don't leave it. So I'll see you in a bit. Yeah? Is that what matters? I'll see you in a bit. Bye. You lied. You lied. Is this what matters to you, your party? It's not about the party, Amber. You lied. Right? I never lied. To you. She likes. To and she's sitting here with her little face. And what we're talking you about never lied. is what? Why? Why? Why she's are you doing, doing this? this crying voice now? This sad baby Why? crying voice. And that's what Ben King said. Like, he said that she spoke like a spoiled teenager. And, like, not in a good way. Like, this is like, why? Why? It's like she's whining. This man is how old? He don't have. She's too young. She's she's just young, and he said that before. It's just the immature, the emotional immatureness in this woman, a bunch of other shit. And we heard in the audio, Johnny actually called her out. Like they played it in court, he actually called her out in one of the audios, saying that she's like borderline. What is, what is it that is so important always to run away to? Oh, God. Why? Always to run away to. It's the jealousy. It's the abandonment issues. She can't get over it. She is very, very jealous of this man. Like, in her fucking soul, jealous of this man. And yet she still wants to have and control him to do her bidding. 
but she forgot that this is a grown ass man. Like, yes, you bended him, you bent him quite a bit, but he still has a lot of fire in him. This is Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, and you just, you can't expect for someone, like, we're not robots. You can't expect for someone to just do everything as you say and have no feeling and have no response back to you. That's crazy. You can't even do that your fucking self. She cannot control her emotions herself. And another thing. Why did Bing King confirm the fact that she was drinking one or two bottles a fucking day of wine? Walking around the house. Fucked up. Fucked up walking around the house and doing whatever pills and whatever the fuck else she was doing. So I believe at a drop of a fucking hat, she would just lose it fucking lose it because she's jealous and she feels like if I can see you then okay I'm good but like if not then it's a problem why are you just crying stay stay I, you asked me once not to leave and I'm asking he's you he's done he so stayed for so long every five seconds do I get on he was with her for how long Tell about some stay he's done it all before y'all have tried everything Y'all did the counseling. You know, the shit is still happening. You say you're going to change, the shit does not change ever. He's said that. You just want him to wait around and just, it's... I'm leaving because there's a fucking movie party I gotta go to. Oh my God. I have never prior... Yeah, I'm sure. I am fucking sure you have left Johnny to go to a movie fucking party premiere. Let's not fucking act like you've never done that before, Amber Miss Ambition. Please. And you of all people. Oh God. Of all people, all this Here talk go. about not being that guy. You have done nothing but over the last two Poor days. Poor Johnny. Tell me Having to listen to this shit over and again. He's just sitting like last. this. When I said to you the same thing, stay. And she's and writing shit. Just writing. I love you. I'm so sorry. And then. And that is something I found interesting. Like, she's kept saying, like, earlier in the day, you kept saying you love me, this, that, and that, da, 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 da. But A, I feel like he was trying to convince himself. And B, I think it was another form of, like, placating her. Because he knew if he really told her what he felt, that it would be, like, this big fucking altercation. Like, it ended up fucking being. So, like, yeah, maybe he said that earlier in the day. But I feel like he just probably didn't want to deal with like the bullshit at that moment and like he was just like I love you da 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 and now she's taking it as some type of fucking betrayal not realizing he's completely fucking over her ass he's not 20 seconds at most to go fuck that I hate you I don't want to be with you goodbye I'm leaving I'm running away but I'm not running I'm walking away what this is embarrassing Amber If you don't want to be with me in life, then you actually need to do it. Play it again. Then if you don't want to be with me in life, then you need to actually do it. You need to actually take off your ring and forget that five hours ago you said the opposite. Don't say things you don't fucking mean. She said, if you don't want to fucking, like, if you don't want to be, then you need to actually do something about it. You need to actually, like, that is, in fact, an ultimatum. That's a challenge. That's a threat. And, um, I don't think that she thought that she was going to get the response she got from Johnny. Because I feel like she still feels like she's ensnared him in this little trap she's planted for him. But no. Mm Mm-mm. Otherwise, you can't keep throwing that around. Can't keep doing can't that keep around. Saying to me that this is something you care about. Boom. Through the ring. He fucking threw that shit. You want to talk about throwing shit? Okay, yeah, let's put on the record that Johnny threw his ring at Amber Heard because he was fucking over that shit. Done. 
if someone throws their ring at you, I really don't believe there's any coming back from that. Like, th there's just not. Like, maybe a little bit, and you know, you try to fake act like it. Da -da -da -da, it's all sweet, shit, sweet, and, the, and mm, but ultimately, it's done. But I'm also like 29, so what do I know about life? <laughs> Rules. Because I asked you to stay. No, because you're, you're fucking what was it? What was it when you asked me to fucking. stay? I loved it. He said, because you're a pain in the ass. Like, quite frankly, you're just, you're a pain. You're a literal thorn in my fucking side. You're annoying. You're a pain in the ass. That's one of the, like, the, I would hate if someone called me, like, a pain in the ass. I would, like, go and reevaluate my entire life everything <laughs> like my everything if someone's like you're a pain in the ass and like meant it like it not in a joke joke i would be like oh fuck but let's see what amber says i, I can't stand it no. what was it i can't stand it say? in australia you said you promised me not to leave you you said you promised me not to leave what did i do oh, what did i do he said I, I, you said you would change and you did not what did i do did I stay or did I leave? You didn't change. Did I stay or did I leave? Stay. You stayed and you didn't change. Stay. You stayed, did the same bullshit you've been doing. He gave you a chance. He gave you time. And your ass still did not change. So I stayed. And I've been a cunt ever since, which is why you told me about every other day. The entire I relationship. Imagine your life without me. Play Katen. Did you know that when you donate your eggs, you uh, can invest? Sorry. You, does that seem normal to you? How you couldn't imagine your life without me, including today. So, which life? Does that seem ooh, normal ooh. to you? There does she that go. Seem normal to there you? she go. Because you told me tonight. She likes to start off in that little sweet, innocent voice. Me. And now you're throwing your ring on the ground. Does that yep. seem normal? Yeah, that it does. Seems so that seems sober? You seem, you seem Don't normal? try to make it seem like he's fucked up. He sounds very clear headed. He's not slurring his words or no shit. He's simply done with the bullshit. Done. Does that seem normal? Yeah. Does that seem normal to you? Borderline personality disorder. I'm borderline Disorder. He called her the fuck out, you borderline disorder. Dis he said you borderline disordered personality. He called it then. And when I heard that, I was like, damn. I don't know if Johnny has, you know, like is well versed in like mental health and shit like that, you know, due to his childhood and whatnot. But I'm like, Someone had to have told him that shit or he read it somewhere or she had that thing done on her, the evaluation, and that was the results. For him to say that, it's something very fucking specific, all right? And she was trying really hard to get that IME out. So I feel like someone told him that shit and he's putting all the pieces together. They gave him the characteristics and shit. And he's putting the pieces together and he was like, that's exactly what that bitch is. That is exactly what she is. It all clicked from him. And he realized he's dealing. I don't know. Is it rude to say like, no, I don't want to say they're crazy people and say that the whole, you know, community who has that disorder are crazy. But in her specific case, Amber is crazy. He's dealing with a crazy person. I don't think that's all borderline people. I think for this specific person, it, uh, yeah, she needs to seek help. That was diagnosed. I feel like for him to say that that was diagnosed. He said without question. He said without question. She was like, so, so I'm borderline out without question. He didn't hesitate. He didn't fucking pause. Oh, he was told that. Probably Dr. Kipper. Listen, all night saying, don't go, don't fuck this all up. I'm not fighting with you anymore. 
Okay. What is there to fight about? He just threw his fucking ring off. It's done. It's dead. I'm not fighting anymore. He's not trying to fight with you. He's trying to fucking go to a party. Don't fight. Walk away. Stop fucking running your goddamn mouth. Duh. But you can't do that. I've been saying this to you the whole night. I'm really sorry we disagree. You're not perfect. I said this two hours ago. Oh my god. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But we don't have to do this every time we disagree. Shut up. Yes, you do, because you always take it there. You were the one always taking it there, and you have an issue because Johnny always leaves, and that's what the issue is. Stop fucking lying. That's why he's like, I can't even have a fucking conversation with you because your shit is not based in reality. You cannot have a conversation with someone like this. She's sitting there saying, I'm not perfect, I'm not wrong, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I'm not perfect, I'm, I have things I need to work on, while at the same time saying that she's not wrong for anything. That's so fucking convoluted. Please, please, come here. Please come here. Please come here. Now she's going to try to bring him in. Please come here. Please come here. Like, I feel like I've seen this in, like, some Degrassi fucking show before, like, played out, like, like a teenage love story. Like, she's like, please come here. Please come here. Like, you just told him to make a decision. He made the fucking decision. So now that you don't like the fucking answer, you want to beg for him to come back. It doesn't work that way. He called your fucking bluff. Called it. Now you need to deal with the consequences. Oh, y'all not insulting you. Here I she have go. not been insulting you. Here she go. I love you. Johnny, what do you mean? Anytime she's not getting the... Re and you heard the cup just drop. Anytime she doesn't get a reaction that she wants, she explodes. If he's not responding in the way that she wants, she explodes. And I heard a glass clink set down. And it sat down when she like made that last word. And I think that was her glass, which means she's likely drinking. Which we know how she gets when she drinks. What do you need me to do? And apparently she drinks all goddamn day long. I love you. Stop. No, you don't. Smack my ear again. Smack my ear again. He said you smack my ear again. Meaning she, prior... She had already smacked him in the fucking ear. That right there is proof of domestic violence. It's proof of abuse. Played right here in the court for us all to hear. And Johnny is sitting here looking so... I, I feel like there's a sense of vindication in the way he's sitting. Like, finally y'all are hearing this shit too. Like, finally y'all can see what the fuck I've been talking about this whole time. And him reliving it and being sad. So I feel like there's so many mix of emotions with him sitting there. And Amber knows what the camera is, but her head is completely down. And she's just writing, writing, writing. Just guilt all over her body language. Uh, Little Miss Governess. Mm-hmm. Did she deny it? No, she didn't. Still whispering. I do not love you that much. Yep. Yep. He is pissed the fuck off and has had it with this bitch. And this is at like the, one of the pinnacles. And he's still mild at best. Mild. He is saying, you, I'm not giving up up myself for you to follow all your fucking rules and be exactly who you want me to. I am my own fucking person. Here she go. Calm down. Calm down. So you want to rouse somebody up. And then once you get them all the way the fuck up here, you want to say, calm down. Calm down. No. That's the worst fucking thing you can do to somebody when they're all the way up here. Especially when you're the cause of it. Like, she provokes him. And then wants to, like, step back and watch the shit fucking blow up and act like she was the victim in the situation. It's sick. It's sick. Thank God for the context. 
Because they could have clipped this shit out in so many fucking ways that we know and have seen them fucking do. Thank God they have given us context. Don't give me that shit. Don't give me that shit. I do not want to be with you. I do not want to be with you. How much clearer can it be? And she's like, stop, stop. Thinking she's trying to reel him back in. Thinking if she like gets herself back down, she can now try to have a further conversation with him. But it's done. You've already fucked it up. You've already shown you can't have a fucking conversation. So don't try to backtrack now. Because he's over it. Fuck that. Right. No one's fighting. She's gaslighting him. That, Trying to hear. Mr. Depp, what are you and Ms. Heard discussing in this recording? Hmm. Finally, y'all, I am in therapy. Uh, I've always heard. Reaching up her voice. The the demand that things go her way. And the demand that things way. go her way and was, only her way. I was done, and I think I stated clearly. Yes, you did. I don't want to done. be done. I don't want to be with you. I don't. I, I, I'm not gonna be. How fucked? Up. Oh my god! I would be dying. Like the world is hearing Johnny Depp say, "I don't want to be with you." I think I made it very clear. I don't want to be with you. How embarrassing. A parrot on a, or, or, or some, you know, little dog that runs right. through hoops for you. I ain't going to do that. You ain't about to run through hoops. Grown she man. She take your ring off. Mm -hmm. She still wouldn't let me leave. I did. And she still wouldn't let me leave. He took the ring off and she still wouldn't let him leave. Hostage. She want to say she was three day hostage and holding everybody in the fucking world hostage. Johnny, Debbie, whoever else. Um, so it's, it's just another example of. Um, another example. Kind of being nailed in one spot and not allowed to mm -hmm. uh, do anything but react yep. to her screaming and, yep. um, he's trying to be polite screaming like a banshee and then screaming telling me like to calm a down. banshee and then telling him to calm down that shit is fucked it's like are uh, where are you're the one fucking tripping you're the one tripping and that, like, oh my god, I hate being told to calm down by someone who's literally just done the most to take me the fuck off. Like, it's so fucked up. When I had been pretty calm. Right, he had been calm. Where it's on audio. If you can recall. Anywhere. Away. He said anywhere, away. He wanted to get the Why fuck out of there. Why did you ask Ms. Heard if she wanted to smack you in the ear again? Hmm. She had given me a good chop in the ear, you know. Mm, she One just blinked. Now she trying to do this sad face. Bitch. Leaves you ringing, you know. Is that to stop from and smiling yeah. like she's pulling her lips it's down? And it's like, that, and now she's trying to act like she's about to cry. Maybe this will make you happy. Will it make you happy to, would you like to hit me in the ear again? Right. Would that, would that That's when you have to end your rope. You don't know what to do anymore. Will that make you stop? Right. This? Would have done anything to have stopped. Wow. Outside of taking anything to some physical level. Right. I disagreed with that wholeheartedly. He disagreed because it was done That's to him. That's not me. It's not him. It's not who I've ever been. Period. It's not who I'll ever be. Period. Mr. Depp, um, 
I'm going to play another audio recording. This is a different portion from mm. what Mr. Rottenborn played for you today. It's a different DX portion. 580, What's um, this? I believe the portion Mr. Rottenborn played was designated 598B, so this will be 598C. Mm -hmm. um, and first I'd like to play the portion from 31 minutes, 14 seconds to 33 minutes, 4 seconds. What's this one? Any objection to 598C? No, um, and then we will go on and play the second portion, which is 56 minutes. Play them audios, seconds, baby. Play them. The world minutes, needs to hear it. Seconds. Play that shit. All right. 598C in evidence. You know, it builds, right? Like, you build, I build, you know. It isn't like at one moment either of us sign a certificate of saying or, like, sign the contract or say, okay, no, what the, no. So acting as though there's a choice between the two is, is relevant. The way she talks in this, like, ugh. over having a bloodbath. I'm asking you, I mean, Please. over walking away. Yes, I'm you not are. Asking you to have a blood yes, bath that's exactly what you're away. asking. I'm asking you to work it out. No. Over prolonged. You're not reasonable like that. Right. But if I mean at least that's how I see it. Indeed. You know. But if things get heated. Right. And it looks like it's going somewhere nasty. Mm -hmm. And the name calling begins. Right. And all that stuff. All that I've stuff. Got to get away. He's got to get away. I don't want to be ever in a situation again. Oh my like God. Never. Me too. Me too. Me too. Never. So Me too. that's Shut that's up. don't freak out if we do have a fight. I walk away. Right. I'm going to do that. I'm asking you to stay when you feel. See, she's telling him right now, I cannot give you what it is. He's saying, don't freak out if I walk away and I need to take time. She said, well, I am. She's she's telling him right then and there, I, I can't do it. Like, I can't not freak out. Like, if you leave, I'm going to fucking trip out and it's going to be an issue. How controlling and trapping does that feel? That even if, like, it gets to the point of someone putting your hands on you, they want you to just sit there and just look at them. You have to just sit there and they're going to look at you and try to make it seem like what they just did wasn't as bad as it actually was. And fuck your whole mind up so you can't go out and get third-party advice so you can't go out and tell somebody what the fuck happened to you. Like, that's controlling. You are also trapping I th I think it's a good idea for us to take a moment or two or I mean a moment I mean, take right. some time take some time it take some time to think he wanted to get the fuck being, away you know barraged by each other's uh, mm -hmm. uh, fucking bullshit whatever I just I just let's take a let's take a break let's take a break and I come back trying to be calm and she's I'm just writing there's but, nothing but to say I'm not gonna stand and fight with you He's saying, I'm not going to stand and fight with you. And instantly her voice goes up because we know that's what she wants. Anything you want, all those names, do it. But I will not do it again. I won't do it again. Stop asking. I mean, please, can you stop for the sake of this conversation? Oh, oh my God. God. Stop what? Making sense? Being a mature adult, you want him to stop having a mind of his own? This woman is unbelievable. And apparently Howard Stern is out there running his goddamn fucking mouth saying that Johnny is putting on an act and that he's over-exaggerating. And let's take our space. And let's not do this anymore. Because I'm really getting frustrated. Back to back. Space. I'm really, I'm really getting really, frustrated. Really sick of this I'm really argument. sick of this argument. Okay, he's telling so her, go, I need to go, leave. And I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Right. Okay? Right here on the audio. You... <laughs> He feels, you can hear himself getting riled up, frustrated, like talking through his teeth. That's when you know you're pissed, when you're like talking through your teeth. He can feel himself getting pissed and he's telling her, I need to leave. I need to leave. Okay. Stop. stop. Why are you saying stop? Why are you saying stop? Please, it causes me so much stress when you leave. When you this is embarrassing. Me, Wow, so because he wants to go and get himself together and calm down, it's causing her stress, and it's making it so much worse. 
How fucked up is that? It's all about her. It's all about what Amber wants, what Amber needs. Give, she could give a fuck what Johnny needs. He's literally begging her and telling her straight up what he needs to make this better. He needs to get some fucking time. And she's like, fuck no. It's all about me. I just want you to stay here. So fuck what you want. Fuck what you want. Oh, okay, making sorry. it worse for me. Please, right, he said sorry for you. you. So, did you know you're causing me immense stress right now? We immense know, stress. Like, Girl, bye. bye. Well, then say goodbye. Say goodbye. I haven't walked away. You're not saying goodbye. You won't let me fucking leave. Right. Let me leave. He oh is ticked. Stop rushing me. Stop pushing me in the corner and oh my god. me with the stick. And then oh say, my god. Why are you saying the words you want Amber. me to say? Amber. Stop oh. poking me! Stop rushing me! Stop Nobody's poking you! Nobody's fucking pressing you, bitch! You pressed him! You pressed him! You told him to make a choice and decision! Oh, uh, uh, you know what? You're throwing me against the wall! I'm going, what? You don't like that wall? You don't like the fucking wall? And then the throwing her against the wall, they tried to make it seem like that's like domestic violence and shit. No, it's a fucking saying like when you're up against the wall and you feel like you have nowhere to go. Like, so y'all little Amber stands don't even fucking try it. Stop pushing me. He said, I'm not pushing I you. I was hangry, and that's why he I said, I'm start not pushing you. Especially since they like to clip shit out. I'm glad he said that, bitch. Don't try it. What? You don't like that wall? You don't like the fucking wall? Stop pushing me. She sounds fucking insane. This is the teenage immature voice. That Ben King heard space. around Australia. I don't want this conversation anymore right now. I don't I want this space. conversation. I, I need space. space. And I will Would take my like space. Hell yes. Johnny said, I need space and I will take my space whether you like it or not. He's getting the fuck out. He's done. Like, he, she has gotten on his last fucking nerve. I will take it. And you will take your space. Right. But if you keep halting I'm not doing this and continuing, you I'm won't let me. I'm begging you to stop. I don't. Okay, stop. Just. I'm stopped. Stop. Right. He stopped. Now I have to go. Now he's leaving. Okay. So we will speak to You want him to stop? Done. Okay, we don't need to talk no more. But I'm still fucking leaving. Like, I, either way. He said a couple hours. He wanted to say days. He don't want to see her. Some kind of revelation makes you feel better. <laughs> you know, I hope I do too. But uh, we'll just see when I get home. We'll just talk or we won't talk or we, you know, we'll finish this or we won't finish it. And there he is listing out all the ways that he knows in the past, the situations, how they have gone down. Oh, I'll come home and you'll either ignore me. I'll come home or we'll have a bash out fight. I'll come home and we'll act like everything is absolutely normal. Like he's going through that whole fucking list because he's been there before. He's like, whatever. When I, I'll talk to you when I get back, but like, I can't do this right now. So we'll do this later in either of these ways since I know you. Bye. Sounds like experience, huh? <laughs> This is not love. This is not happiness. This is not. Here she goes to cry. She's probably like, please stop. Like, like a fucking child. Like, <sighs> this is so embarrassing. She can't even look up. She can't even look up. And Johnny is just looking down. It looks like he has his eyes closed. Like, he could probably relive and see all of this in his mind all over again. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna die at this age. I'm gonna I'm gonna die at this age. I'm gonna die. And she had the nerve to call Johnny a baby and dramatic and she's over here talking and crying and talk about she's gonna die. Why are you gonna die? Because that check's not gonna be coming anymore? Why are you gonna die because all your friends are gonna be displaced? Why are you gonna die because you're not gonna be on red carpets like that no more and you're gonna be a nobody? Is that why you're going to die? Because it's certainly not because you love him and you can't live without him in that way. Certainly not. I'm going to fucking die. You're causing me so much stress. Please stop. Oh, my God. Please. I'm 
Ew, this is embarrassing. Like, the whole world is listening to you whine and cry like this. Oh, my. Please stop. Please stop doing it. Please stop. He's so fucking mean. How is he being mean? Because he doesn't want to be with you anymore. He's telling you straight up. And he's telling you when you're in situations, y'all need to take fucking space. And he needs to, he wants to go. That's not being mean. If anything, he could make up some fucking bullshit story and go and do it. Like, it's not. Bully, stop. Oh, my please God. Not a bully. I'm just begging you not to fight. I just said, I please, think, even a oh normal my God. argument. Just even a normal conversation. Fucking like normal argument. For the there is no normal conversation with you, Amber. There is no normal conversation. This is why you're here. Because he's tried to have normal conversations with your ass. And he has not succeeded. You don't change. And now you over here fucking crying and snotting and fucking begging and fucking pleading after you just gave this man an ultimatum. Girl. For the last hour I've been begging you to please just leave it at that. Let's just go on with our night. I would have been able to come in with you. We would have been able to let it go in a few minutes. It would have been fine. It would just be loud ourselves that fucking normal argument. Mm, 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 please, mm. you're killing me with this. You're killing me. You're killing me. me. You're killing me. You're killing me. Oh my god, Amber. Ooh, she over there sweating. This is bad. This is bad. This is highly, highly embarrassing. Like, I have secondhand, like, embarrassment, cringe, like, listening to this. Jesus Christ. Sean, could you, uh, please? I, I want you to just go. I want you to take your medicine. Or whatever. I'm sorry that I've upset you. Yeah, I think uh, take Thank your you medicine, Sean. bitch. I'm ready to go. Thank you so much. Wow. Mr. Depp, in the beginning, well, first of all, do you know where you are when you're having this discussion with Miss Hurd? The only, <clears throat> excuse me, the only clue that I have is that, um, Sean is being called. I've, I've called Sean. He's about to go to an ad. Damn it. I don't know why I just don't sign into my other account. Okay. Drive her. I'd called Sean and said, to, Is that um, Sean is being called? I've, I'd called Sean and said, to, drive her home or I believe it was probably at Sweetser so then she could drive back and he would drive her back to um, <clears throat> downtown house three uh, with a, a, she didn't seem in any shape to drive no she did not seem in any shape to drive and earlier in the clip there was a reference to a bloodbath what does that mean in the context of that conversation yeah, man. This has been a fucking doozy. Johnny did his thing through testimony, through fucking redirect, cross, which they... Amber's team fucking boggled, man. What was that shit? Like, I, if I were Amber, I'd be like, I'm not paying y'all a goddamn thing because y'all sat up there and made me look fucking ignorant as hell. Just ignorant. Like, it's really, really sad. It's really, really, really sad. But I wanted to... It's so crazy. Y'all are going to have to bear with me. Because there was more I wanted to listen to on here. With me. Sorry, just wait for the objection. I was... I did not put this anywhere. I didn't... Let me talk... Out there. Well, that's what her talking about her fucking reputation and shit. Girl, bye. You fucked up your own reputation. I had a fucking a mineral can, a jar of can of mineral spirits thrown in my right. nose. A can of mineral spirit thrown in his nose. Yes. Woo! Face crack.
cracking. Face cracking. You should be mortified, y'all. Look at this shit as they say this. Look at her face. You should be fucking mortified. Oh my god. Look at her face. Look at her. Look at her face. I lost a fucking finger, man. She should be ashamed. Shake your head. That's you. You did this. Wow. Mm. Look at her. Mm-hmm. Her mouth. Cracking. Acting. Right. I cannot Mr. tell Dunn, the judge and jury. Reflected in this recording with Ms. Hurd. Tell the judge and jury, Johnny, and see whose side they'll believe. And that is exactly what he did. And we are so, ooh, we are so, 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 so proud of him. Like, this took bravery. It took a whole rack of money. It took time, emotional stress to do all of this. Get your story out. It's a mess. It's a fucking mess. But I'm here on Twitter, and Ben King says, In Australia, Johnny's house had plenty of entrances, which means there were plenty of exits. So there was at least one security guard working every day, working in 12-hour shifts. So how was she held hostage? And again, she drank one to two bottles of wine a day. That is very interesting. Miss, I was held hostage for three days. Beat, drug, drug across glass, R-worded and everything else. Yet when you got on the plane with Ben King, you only had a scratch like this on you. That's so interesting. Wow. Ben said, it, generally speaking, one to two bottles of wine were consumed per day by Amber. And Johnny Depp was not the one drinking the wine, according to Ben King. And we know that's what she does. That's what she does. She drinks wine all up on her IG with pictures of her drinking wine, drinking wine, drinking wine. Bottles and bottles and bottles of wine. It's just like... And that Brian fellow, incredibly average, he said, Amber Heard testified she would often tell Johnny Depp that he beat her because he couldn't remember what he did after she said... He would black out, but he testifies to simply falling asleep and doing nothing. She was lying to him, and she and she is lying to everyone. How fucked up is that? She knows this man works long fucking hours, probably delirious as fuck. Seventeen hours, he said that one day. I, could you? I couldn't imagine working seventeen hours. I would be, I, yeah, I would not be a functioning person. But probably delirious in this and another. He's falling asleep any and everywhere. Whenever he can catch a nap. And the next thing you know. When you wake up this bitch is trying to act like. Oh my god you hit me. And you're like hold up what? Wait I did what? And then you gotta think about that shit. Like uh, what? I guess what, uh, what, what took place? And you start fucking doubting yourself. She's trying to make him feel crazy. Amber Couch. <laughs> I want couch. Like, what the fuck was that about? Like, you can't even speak in correct sentences, full fucking sentences. I want couch. Oh, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, you guys. It's very clear very 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 clear how this is going to play out they have nothing the only thing now that I'm 
you know, Johnny did an amazing job. He's had some great, great, great witnesses come for, for him. Keenan, Isaac, Ben King, Debbie, Chrissy, you know, just Dr. Kipper even. Like, he's had people come through that have said, you know, we have not seen anything on this woman. We have not seen her harmed. No bruises. How are you going to have, like, medical doctors and nurses around, but none of this shit was documented? Not ever. Ever. And it's crazy that after you were held hostage for three days, all you have is a fucking scratch. And you presented that to evidence like it was something. Y'all have nothing. So the only thing I'm really looking forward to at this point, because I know in my heart that this is what is actual truth coming out of Johnny's mouth. Only thing I'm looking forward to now is the entertainment of Amber Heard being on the fucking stand. Stand. Testifying, being crossed in her redirect. I want to hear all of this shit. I want to hear exactly how you said that this man put his fucking hands on you and abused you and how you felt the need to put a fucking op-ed making it seem like you're a domestic violence survivor speaking for all these people across the country who have actually gone down and dealt with some hard shit and you're acting like you're a domestic violence fucking ambassador like you've experienced the worst shit in the world have you guys seen those like fucking videos of her like advocacy and stuff I've been seeing going around and stuff and she's speaking and I'm just looking at it's just grossly like overdone it's disgusting you can see that it's all an act like maybe back then when people were watching it they didn't see that but now that you know the truth behind it you can see the obviousness of it it's all an act it's all a fucking act i don't think amber knows who she really is as a person like she has all these different personas that she's coming from but she doesn't really know who she is as like a being i guess but um yeah Tomorrow is a new day. I mean, like, oh, this is the one. You fucking have consequences for your actions. That's it. Hold up. So Johnny called her a fat ass. And then they wanted to make it seem like it was such a big fucking deal. When I know I heard her call Johnny a fat old man. Yeah, you got me there. Can you play that one more time, please, Michelle? <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> and then he wanted to fucking play that Mr. again Depp. like it's making some fucking major goddamn point. Please. And they objected it. You wanted to be so talking about, oh, time, 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 that you want to play that over again. Please. Please. Shut up. Just shut up. You're killing me. That's all I hear, Amber, like, crying in the background. You're killing me. Oh, you're th- I'm so under such stress. Oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> but tomorrow's a new day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> When Ben was absolutely like, <laughs> because Johnny's team went to play this audio, they said it was 11 seconds and it started playing over and Ben got his panties in the biggest fucking bunch because, ooh, of course you don't want to hear everything else that is the whole tape. Of course not. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was the audio with Amber making um, where, uh, when Paul's we the son island. die. Not die, cry. Jesus Christ, morbid. It, 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 would, it would cause all kinds of um, unpleasantries hmm. to the point of where uh, 
when we were on the island with uh, Mr. Petney, his wife, and his uh, four children. He's married to Jennifer Conley. Wow. Um, Ms. Hurd and Mr. Petney got into some debate wow. over lunch. And I just remember that whenever Mr. Petney tried to make a point, she would talk over him. And then it started to get quite rude. Wow. She got. How embarrassing for Johnny that his wife mean. is acting like this. Um, and she got loud. She got loud and mean. And then his. Believe she me, can't was control his herself. 18 year old boy mm. who, was, who, was, who was getting ready to go to a really very bright, bright brilliant kid. He entered the uh, conversation because these, this was something to do with what he'd studied in school and he knew quite a lot about it. So it was like it. probably politics, something like that and whatnot. He wanted and, to add his two cents. Uh, Ms. Hurd demeaned that young man to the point of where he, where he, he demeaned. burst into uh, tears and wow. walked away. Wow. Wow. Um, and it was at that point that I had spoken to Ms. Hurd and said, that's, that's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. That behavior is unacceptable. It's unacceptable to no behave right like that. You had no to, right. To, 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 to demean that boy. To do. Wow. You, you cannot. Wow. Uh, you guys, like, this is... Hearing it from Johnny's mouth, I'm just like, you really are going around being that rude to people in your daily life. Friends of your husband. Friends of your husband. Like, that's how you know she can't control herself and she needs to seek help. Like, she can't control herself. Like, she literally has said that in audio. And that's all fine and well. It's not fine and well like that, but it's okay that you can't control yourself. Some people have issues, but you need to be put in a place in which people are cared for so people can watch out of, out for you so you can get your medications and get things together. You don't just, you can't just be popping off and like being mean and rude to people like this. Like in our normal life, like with regular people, if we were to walk around like that and interact with each other like that. No one would want to have anything to do with you. And yes, I'm sure there's people you know out there who are like that. And you don't want to be anywhere near. You don't want to deal with them. But because I guess she's like, I don't know, some pretty girl who Johnny saw something in for Rum Diaries and decided to marry her because she made this whole fucking persona up and entrapped him. She's made it somewhere and her poor behavior has gone unnoticed but like I don't understand how she's made it this far but that's all y'all I'm interested to see how tomorrow goes it's gonna be interesting this video is going up very late due to some we'll just say interlude but um yeah I will catch you guys a little bit later Think about liking, think about subscribing. If not, I completely understand. But this has been Channel Claire, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.